Stinky the doll fin is lonely, and he's getting way too frisky with humans. The lone male bottlenose doll fin has been cavorting for months in waters off the Cayman Islands, the rare case of a solo doll fin far from a pod of his fellows. The sight of the doll fin has delighted many boaters, swimmers and divers, but his antics dismay scientists who traveled to the archipelago to study him. They say Stinky is a danger to humans, and they also worry the doll fin could hurt himself. He spent a fair amount of time engaging in very high-risk behavior. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased, said Laura Ingleby, the Marine Mammal Branch Chief with the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. There is concern for his safety. She noted the doll fin has a fondness for boat propellers in motion, and that he also likes to run against anchors, channel markers and mooring buoys, cutting himself in the process. Scientists estimate he is roughly 20 years old given his worn down teeth and aging scars. He's certainly been around the block, said Trevor Spranglin, the marine mammal biologist with NOAA who also traveled to the Cayman Islands. It is unusual for thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Bottle nose dolphins to separate from their hods, with only about 30 such cases reported worldwide, scientists said. Also puzzling is how Stinky arrived in the Cayman Islands, given that the nearest hods of bottlenose dolphins are in Cuba and the Bahamas, said Dr. Chris Gold, Vice President of Veterinary Services for SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment, who also studied the dolphin. Gold said the absence of female dolphins might help explain Stinky's behavior. What's unusual about this, of course, is not necessarily the behavior that this male dolphin is demonstrating but that those behaviors appear to be directed toward thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. People, he said. Cayman Islands the biographer Michael Moss can attest to that. He was scuba diving with his wife and a friend near Grand Cayman when he spotted Stinky. He tried to catch his wife's attention to no avail. I turned my head away from her and Stinky was there, maybe 15 inches 38 centimeters away from me, Moss said. His eyes went straight into my eyes, so I went crazy, like, hello, there's a doll fin. He began to film until his wife urged him to surface and leave Stinky alone. My wife, he tried thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To eliminate her, Moss said. He charged her light five times, but forcefully. The doll fin and tried to make with Moss who at one point put his back against a coral wall as he does when sharks approach. But a dolphin, he just joined you, Moss recalled with a laugh. The incident was caught on a sometimes frightening video that has been viewed nearly half a million times on YouTube. Moss said he posted the video to warn people to leave Stinky alone. This is not a swim with the dolphins sort of animal. He said thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A few days after his encounter, a woman tried to ride Stinky's dorsal fin, only to get bitten. People just don't get the message, he said. Leave those dolphins alone. The Cayman Islands Department of Environment has said it will launch an education campaign to highlight that message. The NOAA biologists urged people to get out of the water if they spot Stinky because they could get injured. The dolphin has demonstrated aggressive behavior such as opening his mouth wide, which some people misinterpret as a welcoming smile that is quite the contrary, Spranglin said. He thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Has done jaw pops, tail slapping, chuffing, pushing, charging, he said. People need to understand these warning signs. Spranglin said that integrating Stinky into a pod of dolphins elsewhere in a region is not realistic because scientists do not know enough about him. There are two types of bottlenose dolphins, those who live near coastal areas and those who live in deep water. It is unclear to which group Stinky once belonged. He's left by himself, Spranglin said. He's been socializing obviously with people and with vessels. Local government officials also considered placing Stinky in captivity, especially thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased, since the island already has to dolphinariums. But Ingleby rejected that idea, saying it's best to keep the doll fin in its natural environment. The public display would be an option of absolute last resort.
she said. This situation can be managed as long as people manage their behavior.